This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined by Sharky. What's up? This is our first time doing an interview. It is. You yeah. okay? Uh, could be better, yeah. but you know, it's good to see you. It's kind of sad. It's Nico's birthday as well. <laughs> I remember interviewing Nico on the same day a year ago, and I think someone bought him. I think it was Chunks who got him a what was it? A star list. Yeah, I think yeah, I was yeah. got him a star yeah. list. What did you get, Nico? Uh, you know, I, I don't give Nico my pre- I don't give Nico presents. I give him my presents. Okay. You know, so I'm always around him on his birthday. That's what matters. What do I give someone who's got everything? I don't know. Sure, see, good point. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, Nico's birthday. Uh, last year was Nico's birthday as well. Mm. Kenny's first fight and I got overturned. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it doesn't seem to be going well on Nico's birthday. But listen, um, Kenny's healthy. You know, he's good. He's happy. You know, well, he's not happy right now. But when he watches it back and he, and he learns from this experience, he'll be happy because it's a push to be better. There's wins and losses in sport. It happens. You know, no one goes unbeaten unless you're Floyd Mayweather or Arsenal in the Premier League, awesome. Invincibles. <laughs> but listen, man, Kenny's a top fighter. Mm. He's going to go back with his coach. He's going to watch the fight back and they're going to know what to improve on because this wasn't Kenny's proudest moment. This wasn't his best fight. I watched it and I didn't think he, he threw enough. I don't think he pushed enough, but I'm not a coach, so we'll see what his coach has to do. You've been there around Kenny for each one of his fights. Yeah. Obviously, I think I lost you guys out in Texas and now we're back here in the UK. Was there anything different about Kenny, Kenny in the week at all? No, I mean, obviously fight week, like we don't really see Kenny much because we like to let him, you know, focus on his fight, do his thing. Everyone's obviously also busy. It's in Telford. We're from London. So on the fight week, I didn't really see him. You know, obviously I'm watching, I'm watching everything, I'm keeping up to date. But in the ring, I don't know. He just, maybe, I don't know. He just didn't look himself today. I, I don't know if there's anything or if it's just one of those days. But um, last time I saw him a week before fight week, he was completely fine. We had a bait squad shoot. He's happy. He's smiling. He's laughing. Um, he's good now as well. But I don't know. He he seemed fine to me every time I see him. Just in the ring today, he didn't seem himself. But, you know, he'll be back stronger. He seemed fine in the fight week as well. Interviewing him, he's got this normal kind of yeah. happiness about him. Daily still as, as intense as usual. Yeah, yeah, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was an off day, which is obviously yeah. is quite unlucky. On the most important day, which is fight day. But where would you say Kenny goes from here? Um... Listen, Kenny. Kenny's here to stay. You know, he saw he saw he signed a, a deal, misfit deal, and all that stuff. So he's here to stay. He's not going anywhere. You know, a loss isn't going to stop him. Um, it'll motivate him. It'll motivate him. Listen, Jake Paul just lost. He's not he's not going to stop fighting. Um, so listen, Kenny is going to motivate him. And sometimes this can make someone a better fighter. You know, they go off, they they watch themselves back. They've tasted loss because even though Kenny's first fight counted as a loss with temper, Kenny didn't taste a loss in the ring. He had that high moment. He had a good moment. This is the first time he's tasted a loss in the ring, you know, actually having other guys hand lifted. It's the first time it's happened. So he's not going to like that feeling and it's not going to want to happen again. So this can make him a better fighter, I'll be honest. This season, we'll see what happens. I'm sure it will, as well as daily opening up his own gym called Trenches. The Trenches? Yeah, it's a great name, I thought. It's, it's a really good, good name. Yeah, good. He's got the open day for that coming up in May. But just moving away from Kenny, if you, who out of the beta squad do you think is most likely to get in the ring? Apart from Kenny, obviously. Uh, the best actual boxer in the baseball outside of Kenny is Chunks. Like, really? legit, he's actually the best. Um, but most likely, I'd probably say me, you know. Oh, really? I'm not saying I would, but I'm saying that most likely because Chunks, I don't think he's going to fight. AJ wouldn't fight. Nico doesn't fight anyone. Like, I don't think Nico's ever had a fight in his life. He's had a lot of offers, Nico. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm just saying me because it's like the only one who, was, who would kind of uh, consider it, but I don't think that's happening. <laughs> is that just because you're too busy you got so much stuff on right Honestly, now? Honestly, it's, it's a mix of me being busy and too, it's like, listen, this isn't easy. It's not a game, you know? It's serious. you got to... I don't know if I have it in me to do it. It's something like only certain people can do. You have to have a bit of a screw loose, yeah. you know? And I do have a screw loose, or so maybe not in the fighting world. Um, but I love it. I'm just a fan. You know, I enjoy it. I enjoy the mental side of the game. And it's like a chess chess game with your bodies, man. Like, it's not barbaric. It's like, it's an art. So I love watching it. I love combat sports. I love influencer boxing, crossover boxing. And um, I think I'll leave it to Kenny, you know? And I know you guys are really busy. It's one more thing. A tag team match tonight. Oh, what did you make of that? That was incredible. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to work. I grew up watching WWE. Like, yeah, that was, same, yeah. WWE was my first love before football, right? So when I saw this, I was like, is it, I didn't know what the rules were going to be. Were they going to do like wrestling? Were they not? But it was, it was so good, man. Like I had the crowd on their feet. I think I've been to like every Misfits event ever. And I think that was probably one of the loudest I've heard it ever. So it, was, it worked. It worked. What do you think it is about Pineda that people love so much? Um, you know what it is, yeah? I think the fact that he doesn't speak English yes, I was gonna say. is such a big help. <laughs> and every single time he's fought, it's kind of like... I wouldn't say gimmick fight, but it's like his first fight, he was he was part of history where KSI fought two guys in one night. His second fight, he's a mystery opponent. His third fight, a tag team fight, like he only fights entertaining fights. So uh, 
you gotta love him, and he's got such a sweet face, you know, he's such a nice, timid guy. <laughs> Vamos! But yeah, you can't dislike, you can't dislike Pineda for sure, man. He's a good fighter as well. Yeah. He's good. Certainly, prove that tonight. Just one last thing. Anything else coming up for yourself the next few weeks um, on your menu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Primo Collection 2 is coming okay. in two weeks, I think, hopefully. Track suits, it's got to be a good three different colorways. Trust me, get your hands on it. Don't let it sell out before you can get it. Uh, Beta Squad, we're, we're, we're striving to, to do more and more and more. Bigger things coming for Beta Squad. And uh, yeah, man, just watch me everywhere. TikTok, YouTube, SDS Podcast. Wherever you want to see me, you'll find me. Do you got any t-shirts in red? Oh, is that your colour? Yeah, red. Oh yeah, yeah, red. Okay. Always as red. As, as soon as not right now, but as soon as we get something red, I'll get that to you. And you have to wear it in a, in a, in a video because I'm a big fan. Always will. Thank you so much. Yeah, it means the world. Thank, Thank you. you. I need to go now. Awesome.